But we, the people, can't create a massive economy if we don't have the right economic system. I mean, if we're in a gulag breaking rocks, we're going to starve to death, right? Or if we have price controls, wage controls, if the government owns pharmaceutical companies, if the government destroys energy companies, if the government makes all our decisions for us, we'll starve to death. Do we realize what a fantastic country this is? Because a middle class was created out of the Industrial Revolution. Do we know what the Industrial Revolution is? Even now, under the most horrendous economic conditions, thanks to Harris, Biden, their ilk, and their party, people are doing anything they can to come into this country to participate in the economy or the welfare state. But there couldn't be a welfare state if we didn't have this massive economy. So what, what is it that created this massive economy? We did. We, the people, got it. But we, the people, can't create a massive economy if we don't have the right economic system. I mean, if we're in a gulag breaking rocks, we're going to starve to death, right? Or if we have price controls, wage controls, if the government owns pharmaceutical companies, if the government destroys energy companies, if the government makes all our decisions for us, we'll starve to death. I did that show here once, and I did it on Fox, I Pencil. Two and a half million bureaucrats in Washington, D.C., they couldn't make a pencil if their lives depended on it. But we, the people, can. The invisible hand, Adam Smith, brilliant. It's true. Let me ask you a question. When you woke up this morning, you had breakfast. You had cereal? Eggs, maybe? Some toast? Yogurt? Maybe some orange juice or juice of some kind? Milk? Where did it come from? Oh, it came from a farm. Who produced it? I know the foggiest idea. Neither do I. Was the person black? I don't know and I don't care. Was the person a man or a woman? I don't know and I don't care. Were they transgendering? Who gives a damn? I want my eggs. That's the point. Free market capitalism fused with constitutionalism maximizes humanity's abilities. For the good. Free will, opportunity, value created, growth, happiness, hope, prosperity. Not everybody, but the overwhelming majority of the population that wants to participate. Does that mean you're going to succeed every time? I haven't succeeded every time of you, but it means you can. You get up and you try it again. You get up and try it again. Rush used to explain that he was fired seven times and he became the greatest radio host in history. There's a thousand, a million examples like this. Look at the Obamas. They don't even understand that they're multimillionaires. They're multimillionaires in the greatest country on the face of the earth despite their race because it doesn't matter. And yet they race bait nonstop. They want to fundamentally transform America into what? Kamala Harris talks about not equality of opportunity, equality of justice, but of equity. Who talks of equity? Marx talks of equity. Everybody needs to end up in the same place. So if you work harder, or if you're smarter, you're more athletic, or if you take better advantage of your opportunities, if you see an opportunity and you seize it and a thousand other things, we should all end up in the same place. What does that mean? end up in the same place. I think that's called prison when we end up in the same place. Eating the same crap food, showering in the same place. No. That is a destruction of the human spirit. That's not humanity. Think about the Declaration of Independence that emphasizes individualism. Your unalienable rights, they're unalienable. Why are they unalienable? Because of God. There's certain truisms. Truisms. From who? From God. We call this natural law. And from natural law comes natural rights. You have certain God-given rights, unalienable rights. That's what your Declaration of Independence says. So people who want to fundamentally transform America don't believe in that. They believe in Marx. American Marxism. 
I heard it said, why do we keep talking about the past? Let's talk about the future. That's Marx. The past is to be rejected. It's poisonous. It's cancerous. It is to be destroyed. We need a complete new whiteboard to create a new society. So history is not to be used to learn anything. It's to be expunged. The monuments come down. Sound familiar? The framers are destroyed. The founders are destroyed. The founding documents written by white racists and slaveholders. Forget about all that. The world begins today. What world begins today? The world we say begins today. So knowledge is to be destroyed. The chain that leads one generation to the next, ancestor to present day, is to be eliminated. The family unit. Can't have parents deciding on children abortions. Can't have parents deciding on whether you mutilate their children. The tie between parents and children must be broken. The government, the centralized government, they make the economic decisions, they make the familial decisions, they make all decisions. Don't you want to live in a more perfect world? Don't you think there should be justice for everybody? Don't you believe in equity? What are you, racist? You misogynist? Get the point? For more, sign up for Levin TV.